Hello everybody, Mr. Drybones here with a long overdue video. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of figures to go through. And although I did already go through all these, and I've actually recorded once already, but the video was so bad. I haven't done this in so long, the video just came out terribly. So I erased those, and we're going to try it again. But I think I'm going to do this a little bit more rapid fire. So we're going to go through the figures one at a time. I'll talk about what I think about them, and then we'll go from there. So hey, uh, sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm going to do them in the order that I received them. So we're going to do Suyu Asui first. Here she is. It's actually a really nice little figure. You know, she's adorable as always. If you're a fan of My Hero Academia, you're probably a fan of uh, Froppy, Suyu, whatever you want to call her. Um, it's, a, it's a very nice figure. It has some issues, though. You know, her goggles, they do not want to stay on. So, if, you know, they, they don't fit very well. They, they fall off very easily. I have a real hard time getting them to stay on there appropriately. And then the second problem I have with it, the only real two problems I do have is that her hair kind of gets in the way of her pedestal here, so you really can't turn her head except, you know, you've got to have her head turned one side or another. So not terrible, but it does kind of inhibit, you know, the figure's movement. And then real quick, so for her accessories, whoop, whoop, whoop. try and keep the noise to a minimum here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, geez, it's all falling apart. Okay, and then some creative editing later. So she's got her tongue. She's got a few different hands. And then you have two different face plates. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm getting caught on the box. Uh, you got her happy face, you've got closed eye happy face, and then you've got her sound effect. So that's the Sue figure in a nutshell. Uh, it's a very nice figure, like I said. It's got a couple minor issues, but nothing that's going to stop me from getting it displayed. I've actually had this figure for a little while, and I actually do have it displayed already, so it, it, it works. You know, her goggles don't necessarily stay on perfectly, but once you get them on there... You know, I guess you gotta have it way really far back there. You know, if you, you're gonna put her in a stand anyway, you're not even gonna notice. So let's go ahead and move on to Goku. Okay, so moving right along, we've got Goku, and it's just regular Goku. It's not Super Saiyan Goku, it's not Super Saiyan Blue, it's not Kaioken, it's just regular Goku. And this is actually a really nice figure. I actually like this one a lot. He feels really good in your hands, uh, feels sturdy, feels well put together. Really nice details on there. As you can see, I had him posed in a very simple pose where he's doing his wave like when you run into him, or when I should say when the cast runs into him in the World Tournament Saga. So it's a really nice little figure. Comes with a few different accessories, so let me slide them out of the way. So you get three different face places. You have angry, angry yelling, and then I don't know what you want to call that, grimacing. And then you've got the instant transmission hands, Kamehameha hands, and uh, combat ready hands. So a couple, um, only a couple different accessories, but it's enough for, for posing a good Goku figure. It's really nice. I like it. He does not squat. Uh, you know, here, I'll even try and do a little demonstration, and we'll see. Uh... Oh. Well, I guess it's really more of a Kamehameha than a squat, but uh, he, he's pretty poseable. I'm actually really happy with this one. I got this guy at Target, and he was only like $40. So uh, if you're a Dragon Ball fan and um, you're looking for a Goku figure, you can do a lot worse than this one. I mean, SH Figure, figure Arts does a great job. I've bought a lot of their figures, and I've always been really happy with them. So for 40 bucks, I would highly recommend it. Now let's go ahead and talk about Raftalia. Okay, so let's talk about Raftalia next. So Raftalia from Shield Hero, her Figma, came out fairly recently. I got this the day it came out. It sold out, I think, the next day, too. So it's a very nice little figure. The design and the sculpt on there is very good. This one I haven't set up yet, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. I will say that she does seem a little bit stiff, and, you know, her hair pops off. Uh, so you can actually get her stand back there, and that's really the biggest problem I have with the figure before we talk about any of the accessories or anything like that, is uh, it doesn't fit inside of her back. Um, it won't fit. A friend of mine gave me some advice to try taking some uh, sandpaper to sand it down so it'll fit, but it's just too much of a... <laughs> the hole in Raftalia is too tight for the uh, pedestal to go in, so it doesn't work. It's not very good. I was really disappointed with that because I was very eager to get it set up, but it is what it is. Um, and I've had a hard time getting her to stand up without it, but let's see if we get lucky here in the video. Nope, nope, she does not want to cooperate, and that's okay. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my, you know what, we're just going to take her off camera. That was getting all kinds of lewd, we cannot have that. So for her other accessories, you have various hands. You know, there's the rest of her pedestal. And then you've got two different swords. You've got the magic sword, the steel sword, 
um, the sheath sword so it doesn't pop out or rattle around. And then you've got two different faces. You've got her uh, neutral face, and I guess you'd call that a angry face. And then you've got the face that's attached, which I think was smiling, right? Or was it? There we go. Let's take a look. Yeah, smiling Raftalia. So um, overall, it's a nice figure. I like it. The joints seem a little bit stiff, and I wasn't happy that the pedestal didn't really fit correctly. But I can fix it. It's not that huge of a deal. But, um, you know, those are just my honest thoughts about the figurine. So lastly, we're going to talk about Amaterasu, which I actually got very recently. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Okay, so the last one we're going to talk about is Amaterasu, which was one I just got, and I actually got the DX version, which I don't even remember getting, but whatever. Maybe it was a pre-order bonus. Irrelevant. Here is our beautiful um, Sun Doggo. Uh, it's a beautiful figure. It feels really good in your hand. It feels really, um, you know, it feels solid. It feels really good. I like that, and I know that's kind of a weird thing to say about a figure, but it feels good when you hold it. You know, it feels like a solid piece of... Uh, manufacturing, whatever you want to call it. It's a really nice figure. Oh, the tail wags. Look at that. Very nice. And then you have a uh, good schmear of accessories. So we've got a additional head. We've got a sword. We've got a ring of fire. We've got a, uh, you know, I don't know, ring necklace. I haven't played Okami. I do have it, though. I do have it. Um, I think that's Ishin right there. You can uh, put on there. And then you have a variety of different legs, and I think these are here, so if you want to have the dog sitting down, you can do that. So, a variety of legs. So, it's a pretty, pretty nice figure. And then, I guess because I pre-ordered it, I did get a little bonus, which is this. I'm not sure what this is. Again, I haven't played the game. I do have it, though. I do have it. Not lying. See? There it is. I do have it. But, uh, it's a very nice little figure. Uh, I'm really happy I got this one. I actually really do like the Okami series, even if I have not, um, you know, played the games. But, uh, they're definitely worth checking out, so... Uh, I do have the DS game, too. Was it Okami then? But now I'm getting off topic. But yeah, there's the Amaterasu figure. There is the, you know, the face, the back. The paint job on this is really good. It really does capture the, you know, the Japanese watercolor that it's based on. And there's its paws. Really nice little figure. Can't wait to get this one all set up in the, in the display case. But yeah, that was the four figures that I had gotten recently. So I told you it was going to be rapid fire. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um... You know, be sure to um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you want to. If not, that's okay, too. Just be sure to stop by whenever I make a new video either way. But I guess that's going to be it for today. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go get this all edited together and make it into a fine video. See you next game, everybody.